Hey guys, what is up? Ryan Fox, the amazing blind magician here, coming at you with an all new video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So good to see you. And uh, just wanted to kind of do a different video, something that I I have done it before, but I haven't done it in a long time. And I have a lot of updates on my old video. So this video is actually going to cover that. Right now, I'm actually going to go over all the stuff, all the equipment that I use for filming. And this actually might help you for uh, doing your own kind of videos. Uh, whether you use them or if there's something that you haven't really thought of using, maybe that can inspire you to maybe purchase something like that. Or if you're just new to filming or you don't know what kind of stuff you can get for filming, uh, hopefully this can actually help you. So uh, without further ado, let's get to all the equipment I use for filming. The number one thing I use for filming, my hands, because <laughs> sometimes uh, I mean, this is way before I had any of the equipment, and I would actually just hold my phone or hold my iPad to film me. So, you know, this is kind of like, everybody has this piece of equipment kind of thing, you know, hands. Now, when it comes to filming, I actually don't own a real video camera. I use what I have, and that is my iPhone. Uh, I actually have the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and... Well, I got that because I needed an update. I had an update in store, so I decided to, get, to uh, get it. Plus, with the new cameras and everything, it's just going to look better. But the one thing is, you can't always use your hands. Sometimes you have to give your hands a rest because sometimes it seems a little too shaky. Uh, one thing that you definitely should need is one of these. This little piece of plastic is a clamp that you can actually... A clip to your iPhone and then uh, there's a little screw hole down here at the bottom and that is so that you can screw that onto a tripod so you can actually have it stationary. As you can see at the top there's a little uh, round knob and at the back here there is another round knob that so that you can actually rotate this part and this one up here is so that you can actually make this a lot wider so that it can you can stick your phone in there and then tighten it down so it's going to grip your phone and i actually have two of these uh one for uh separate uh tripods and one of them actually came with a new piece of um equipment which i actually got today uh now what if you don't have an iphone what if you have a ipad don't worry, they make one for iPads as well. Uh, again, it uh, has a screw hole at the bottom for uh, screwing into your tripod. And then of course that bit actually extends out and then you can clamp it down on your iPad. And then on the back here, there's a little uh, torsi knob so that you can actually tighten it so it's gonna stay nice and tight. Also, this actually has a little uh, place so that you can actually put a light or a microphone on the top of this so it's going to stay nice and sturdy and you can actually you know make it better sounding so you have your mounts what else do you need a tripod this is a tripod you can actually buy these ones pretty cheap on amazon uh this is uh, a very flimsy metal it's good for just homework. I am going to update to a better tripod. Uh, this tri tripod has had a lot of use on it and it's actually begin beginning to fail in some areas. And I actually want to get myself more of a professional tripod, but those things cost like $200 each. Uh, this cost me 25 bucks. So I got what I could afford. So say, you can't really afford one of the uh, big tripods. What if you wanted something smaller? 
Well, you can actually get these. These are a lot smaller, they're short tripods. Uh, but the legs, they're nice and squishy, so even if you just want to hold it while the camera's facing you, you can do that. And it's comfortable to grip. Or you can actually open up the legs and it actually does come with a tripod. Well, what's also cool about these is that the legs actually bend. So you can actually tie it around something. So you can actually have the camera stationary in the air uh, facing you while you're doing something else. And it's not taking up as much space. And that's what's really cool about these. What if that's too big? What if you're just looking for something smaller just because you're going to be vlogging at your desk? They have smaller ones! Smaller ones! So you're actually going to get one of those cell phone mounts I showed you earlier. You're going to screw it onto this and then this tripod just opens and it will just sit on your desk. And you can just move it so it's facing your face and you can just do your vlogging. So say you're not looking for something that's going to be stationary. Say you're the kind of person that likes to move around and blog or to film videos and everything. Have no fear, we have the solution. We have selfie sticks. These things are so insanely useful. I actually use these quite a lot uh, when I'm actually out uh, walking with Tia. I use this quite a lot when I was at uh, Guide Dogs of the Desert uh, and everything. And basically you can have it as long as you want or as short as you want or get this even shorter even if you're just doing it from this distance you know it still helps speaking of which there's my guide dog hi tia tia has decided to become the star of the show <laughs> hey honey um so what are some other options you can use for moving around outside and, and vlogging or filming videos you can actually use this this right here I know it didn't look like much, but this is actually a head mount. I actually used this while I was at Guide Dogs of the Desert. Basically, this part down here will actually fit on your head, and this actually has a strap, and you actually strap your phone uh, right in here where my thumb is. Uh, so wherever you're looking, the camera is looking. And just an example, this is what the head mount looks like from the top, and it goes around your head. And then of course, this part right here, that's where the cell phone would actually go. This strip um, comes down. You put the cell phone there and then you wrap this around the phone, keeping it in place. So wherever you look, the camera looks. Looking like a weirdo in public. There's also another option. You can actually get one of these. Um, this actually came with one of my cell phone um, mounts. And basically, uh, the cell phone mount will actually fit on here. You just hold it out and you can actually have it with the camera facing you or facing outwards. Whichever you de decide. Uh, don't worry, this is not a gun. It doesn't have a trigger. This is just a grip. Also comes with a little wristband so that it doesn't... If you drop it, you're going to catch it anyway. Uh, you can make it t tight around your wrist. You have that ability and all that good stuff. Now, say you're also someone that likes to film at night time. Well, guess what? It's not over. It is not over until the fat lady sings. You can actually get yourself lights. Now, you can actually get a separate tripod and actually screw that in. Or you can actually buy yourself a special adapter that will actually mount to this. And then this will mount to one of your cell phone uh, uh, mounts. And uh, this is what the adapter looks like. So this is what the um, light would screw onto. And then this part would actually go onto one of the cell phone mounts. Now one of the cell phone, cell phone mounts I actually showed you actually has a fixture. So you, you can actually put this adapter on. Now these lights are pretty cool. Could you actually get them with filters? Or you can buy them without the filters. I kind of prefer without the filters because I like my lights to be bright. And I don't want anything that's going to get in the way. Now, on the back here, there is a battery. Uh, this button here will release the battery. So, you can actually charge the phone with this. This is a, uh, this is a battery charger for the uh, light itself. So, the battery would actually fit into here. And on the back, has a fold-away plug. So, if you're traveling, and this is in your bag, you can just fold that away so it's not going to get damaged. 
Uh, but if you're going to use it, you just put it out, plug it in, put, uh, well, put the battery in first, then plug it in and let it charge overnight in the morning. Just put it away and you are golden. But for the light, it is itself, I'm going to turn this around because I don't want this to blind you. Uh, but it actually does turn on. Don't worry, this is the low setting. Um, as you can see, it has a uh, blue light on the back. There's four of them, and this tells you the battery level. Now, there's a little slider switch on the side, and when you rotate that, you can actually get the light to go brighter. So, say I was actually in a really, really dark area, um, and I needed some serious light. This does the trick. So say you're actually filming and you're not really happy with the audio quality you have on your phone. They actually do have microphones. This one is a lapel microphone. Uh, so this can clip onto your shirt. You can have the wire going through your shirt so the wire doesn't get in the way. And then we'll plug it into your phone. Now, uh, the thing is, I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max. So I actually don't have the headphone uh, port anymore. So I can't plug this into my iPhone 11 because uh, it didn't have that. So I actually use this for uh, when I use my iPad. Uh, but one thing you should notice is iPhone has interesting headphones. Because usually when you buy headphones, they're just the headphones. But if you buy headphones from Apple, they have a microphone built into it. So they've actually had to develop this part in a special way. Normal headphones have two rings around it and if the phone will focus there we go if you notice this has three rings around it and this actually allows it to be compatible with apple so uh, when you're shopping online i would actually suggest you just going to the apple store and looking for microphones like a lapel mic uh or you could go onto amazon just type in uh lapel mic uh for iphone or type in the style of your iPhone, whether it's an iPhone 6 Plus or uh, or whatever, and they will have to come up with different results. Uh, definitely you read the uh, results, uh, you know, the comments from shoppers and everything, because that really helps, because you never know if you're just going to be like, oh, there's a microphone and you buy it, and then it's going to be complete. So be careful for that. So say you actually have an iPhone, but you don't have the headphone jack. It's okay. They actually sell shotgun mics that actually have the lightning cable part to it. So this actually plugs in right to your lightning port on your phone. And it's a shotgun mic. So wherever it's pointing, it's actually going to focus on the voice that it's trying to pick up or the sound or whatever. And uh, this is a shotgun mic that is actually specifically designed for iPhone. It is actually made by the oh, company Boya, B-O-Y-A. And uh, it is this. And when you do get the shotgun mic, it also does come with this foam cover. And you can actually take this out. You can actually have the microphone facing toward you while you're filming everything else. Or if you're filming your face, just turn the camera around or if you want to film outwards and you want to capture the noise that's out there just unplug this turn it around plug it back in it's that simple uh and what's also cool about this i mean this has a company name on it boya uh but it also comes with what's called a windscreen or as a lot of people know it as a dead cat why do they call it dead cat well because it looks like a dead cat i'll show it to you and this would be the dead cat on the microphone. Microphone's in it. The dead cat is right on top. And what is this used for? Well, if you're filming out and it's a windy day and you don't like your videos to get the the sound of wind on your audio, you have that noise and it's just so annoying. This is designed to completely eliminate all wind noises on your video. So it could be the windiest day. You might pick up a little bit of wind if it's like super, super breezy, but this pretty much eliminates that sound. If it's just a normal windy day, if you're just having a nice breeze, or if it's slightly windy, like it's it's raining and there's wind, this will actually take out that noise. 
Now there is one tool that I think everybody should have when it comes to filming. It doesn't seem like the biggest thing in the world. Um, hi fluffy dog. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got distracted. Uh, the one thing that I think everybody needs, not, not that, you know, it's like your choice, you need this. And I know it doesn't seem like much, but you need this. What is this? This is a microfiber cloth. Clean your screens and clean your lenses to your cameras, to your phones and everything. No one wants to watch a video with a messy lens. And you don't want to be watching your videos through a messy screen either. So use this. Uh, if it's like super messy, uh, what I would do is I would lightly spray some um, some um, Windex on this. Let it dry a little bit and just wipe your phone down, wipe your lenses and everything. Keep your lenses clean. Now I actually just wanted to show you that handle I showed you earlier, I literally got in the mail today, and I'm actually going to be using this a lot when I actually go up to Guide Ducks of the Desert, being as I now work for them. Uh, I am actually going to be in charge of filming uh, the dogs while they are out. And well, I'm actually going to show you what this actually looks like when it's actually um, all hooked up and everything actually looks like this you can actually have the light facing wherever you want once it's all tight right now it's kind of loose um but once your phone is there and it's tight you know it's just going to face in one direction but the lights up there the camera is actually going to fit right in here and then of course you have your handle so wherever you are pointing it the camera is going to look and also you can actually rotate your wrist and actually have look around corners uh you know and everything you can actually do a lot of stuff with this i just wanted to show you this while it was actually hooked up and of course the microphone would actually be on the cell phone as well and as you can see that i have that uh light mount right up there which is actually hooked up to uh there we go sorry for the uh fuzziness uh it's actually hooked up to the cell phone mount and then the light is actually screwed on to the light mount and then you can turn that on and all that kind of stuff so that is that that is all the uh equipment i use for filming so guys that is the video i am actually filming with that handle right now i can actually have it out here uh looking at the camera audio may not be that great because of the fact that my cell phone is away from me if i move it closer to me the audio may sound a lot better but we're actually going to try this microphone out just so you can see what the audio sounds like so right now we're actually filming with the camera uh, sorry, not the camera, the microphone that's built onto the phone. Uh, if I actually turn the phone around, the audio may seem a little bit worse, uh, whether I move the camera closer to me or further away from me. Uh, same thing here, or further away or closer, the audio does get seem to get better or worse. But we're also going to try out this microphone and we'll see where the audio is uh, any better or worse. Okay guys, so we're actually filming with the shotgun mic in. Uh, so, I right now, I actually have the camera actually quite away from, away from me. Right now, I'm actually moving closer. The audio actually might get better. I'm actually going to move to the microphone uh, even further away. It's designed so that when it's facing in the direction of the sound that you're wanting to get is going to focus on that sound. Uh, now I can actually turn the camera around and actually have the camera in the same place but I can actually directly talking to the microphone making it a lot better. For example I can actually uh, talk right into the microphone while I'm focusing on cute little Tia my little baby. She is completely wiped today. Uh, I'm actually moving away from the microphone. I'm still focusing on the dog, but as I move closer, you can actually tell the sound quality may be better or worse. Uh, but I did get this uh, just to make my video quality a lot better and um, everything for you guys. So uh, if you did like this video, then go ahead and hit the like button. 
Also, comment on the video. Tell me what you guys think of the equipment, whether this is stuff you use or stuff you want to use, where to get it. Just leave a question down in, in the uh, comment section. I'll tell you exactly where to get it. I'll tell you what it's called and all that good stuff. And, of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And... Um, if you did hit subscribe, then go ahead and hit the bell icon. That will give you notification for every time I upload a video. I hope you guys are doing good, doing everything to stay safe during this whole pandemic. I really hope you guys are okay. And um, apart from that, that's it from me. And I will catch you all in the next video. Bye.